Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope while you're here, you'll hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family, doesn't cost you anything. Hit the notification bell, that way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. We do have a giveaway going on right now for the Hocus Pocus ColourPop Gather Round Sisters Palette. You don't want to miss out on that, so make sure you subscribe because you have to be subscribed to win. And then if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, that really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel. It lets me know that you enjoy seeing my content. Go down below, leave a comment, say hello, let me know that you stopped by. I always love hearing from you guys. It really means a lot to me to have you all here and a part of my family. And so today what we are going to do is, I don't know, you're running late. You just got invited to a last minute Halloween party. You don't have a costume. What are we gonna do? Stick around and I'll show you exactly what you can do to get ready for that last minute party. Thank you so much for sticking around. Okay, so for me, sometimes I don't always plan ahead and get out there and get a costume like I should. So sometimes I'm scrambling around last minute trying to figure out what am I gonna do? And there's always one go-to for sure that I always run to. And that's an easy cat. Cause cats are super easy to do and you don't really need a lot to do it. You can do it all with whatever you have in your makeup. As long as you got a black eyeliner and a neutral palette, you're good to go. So today we're gonna use Mad for Matte Summer Breeze Elf Palette. It has a lot of neutral colors in here. A lot of fall vibes going on right here. And there's a black that I'm gonna need. And we're just gonna do the eye look really quick here. I just cleaned some of my brushes, so I'm gonna have to make do with some other brushes that I have here. And right now we are gonna use this C Color Cosmetics brush that I got in my cherry palette. And we are going to lay down, I think I'm gonna use this first color right here and just kind of put it all over my lid. I did use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige. I think it's a little bit darker than I need it right now. I used my CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder. I used my Believe Beauty Concealer. And I used my Wet n Wild Concealer to set my lids. Now I'm just gonna dust this color all over. Okay, I went all the way up to my brow, just kinda to set the concealer that's there. Now I'm going to use the Morphe brush. Does it have a name on it? it? Does not. So it's just a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this to put that next color right here in my crease. I'm just going a little bit above where my crease is exactly. And I'm just doing windshield my windshield wiper motions back and forth and then kind of circle it around a little bit. Back and forth, circle it around. Back and forth, circle it. And I'm just gonna do that until I'm happy with what I got. Now that I got that, I'm gonna use my little color switch and color switch that off. Now let's kind of, let's see, we'll use this Luxie brush that I just got in my, well, I don't know if you'll see that video before this one. So <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. You'll be able to see what I got this in when that video goes up. So I'm gonna use this dark brown color right here. I don't think they have, doesn't look like they have shade names. So I'm just gonna use this dark brown right here. 
and I'm just gonna put it right in here to darken up that crease. Okay, I got that laid down, so I'm gonna take this Morphe brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend out the edges here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that dark brown and I'm just gonna tap it right out here. There is a little bit of kick up, so you're gonna wanna tap your brush off to try and avoid any fallout on your face. Okay, how are you guys thinking this is looking? I think I'm gonna use this brush too and dip into that brown and just do a little bit underneath my eye. What are we thinking? Now let's do the lid. I'm gonna use this concealer brush right here from Billion Dollar Brushes. And let's see, what should we use for the... I think I'm gonna go in with this purple color right here. I'm gonna put that on my lid. And I might put Ooh, there's a lot of kick up. Put a little bit of shimmer or a highlighter over it just to kind of make it pop. We'll see. How's that look, guys? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So for this one, always, hmm. Okay, I just kind of use this brush to touch it up a little bit to kind of try and make these look a little bit more the same. For some reason, they always look different. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, now what I want to do is, I think I wanna take this white, Wet n Wild, and I'm going to put that right. Ooh, that's bright. Right here in this inner corner. Okay, there is a method to my madness. It will come together. So the next thing I want to do is I want to try and do black liner. Now I am not very good at the liquid liner. So this might pose a bit of a challenge for me. But we're gonna see. Maybe I should try this Hank and Henry. Maybe I should, you know what? What I'm gonna do, hold that thought. I'm gonna use this angled liner brush and I'm gonna go in with this black in here and I'm just going to kind of see what I can do with this 
and kind of draw out my look a little bit. I'm going to take it underneath. To kind of give it that cat eye effect. We'll see if this works the way I want it to. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the upper lash line. How's that looking, guys? Mm -hmm. I think I need to darken it up. bronze a little bit. I'm going to use my Too Faced. That smells like chocolate. And I'm going to use this um, sculpting duo brush and just kind of bronze up a little bit. Now that I got that, I'm going to get my box of blush and I'm going to use this red or this, this color right here. I'm not really sure what you want to call it. Let me find a blush brush. I'm going to use this bling brush. This is F15. I'm just going to dip in there and just tap it on and kind of swipe up just a little bit. Holy Moses, that's showing up a lot. That's okay, that's okay. How's that look, guys? Now we can put the box of blush back. I'm gonna color switch that off. All right. Now, next, what do we wanna do? Let's curl the lashes real quick. I'm gonna take this white and I'm just gonna put a little bit more on this waterline to kind of tie it in with this over here.
Okay. Now, mascara. We're going to use Essence Lash Princess. Now that I got the lashes done, I'm going to take my KBD cake pencil and just do the tight line. Okay, now that I got that, now the fun part begins. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Black Believe Beauty. And I'm just going to draw a little nose. And then I'm going to just draw this line right down here to the Cupid's bow right there. And then I'm going to line my top lip. And then once I line it, I'm going to, I fill it in. So my top lip is going to be black. Now I'm just going to draw the little, I don't know what you call these. I'm just going to put a dot there, a dot here and a dot here, and then same over here. And then we're just gonna draw one, two, three whiskers. One, two, three. And they don't have to be perfect. And then for my lower lip, I'm going to use this Avon Brick Red. And I'm just going to line, that's not too far, this lower lip. I'm going to use the C Colors, C Color Cosmetics. It's a Jeffree Star dupe. Cute, huh? Oops. Now let's do some setting spray. I'm going to use my, oh, oh no, it's gone. Oh, there's a little bit left. Shoot. Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Now, what you can do, you don't have ears, right? So, if you don't have ears, 
you can just put space buns. So we're gonna just do some messy space buns. We're gonna separate it. it is, and you don't have to be like super neat. Just put it in like a ponytail and then pull it the, through the last time, but don't pull it all the way through. And then you can just kind of fluff it out and then do the same thing with this side. And if you really want to have some fun, you can go to the dollar store or Walmart. They might have some stuff still in stock, even if it's last minute. So you can go like that or let me see, where did I put them? These are so cute. I got them at the Dollar Tree. You can just Halloween it up a little bit and put some ears on. What do you think? Easy peasy. Last minute put together look for Halloween. What do you guys think? I think it looks super cute. I'd totally go to a Halloween party like that. Got a black top on. If you want, you can stop by Walmart. They might still have some pickings and get some ears and a tail and just throw them on. And there you go. You're good to go. Black top. Done. Easy peasy. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, remember, we have a giveaway going on right now for the um, ColourPop Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. You must be subscribed to the channel to win or to be qualified to win. If your name gets pulled and I go to look and see if you're subscribed to my channel and you're not, then I'm going to have to pick somebody else. So make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified when that giveaway announcement comes up and see who the winner is. Hit the thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel and it lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and that you want to see it and go down below, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this look. Uh, let me know what you might throw together last minute. If you got invited to a last minute party and you needed to throw something together, what would you do? All right, guys. Well, I guess that's all for tonight. So I hope that you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this. I hope that you will come back and see me in my next video. It would mean a lot to me. So yeah, and then share me out because the sooner we get to 1K, the sooner we get to do this huge epic giveaway. It's going to be amazing. I've already started getting stuff and putting it away for that giveaway. Miss Busy Beauty Store is putting a box together and I know it's going to be amazing because all of her boxes are always amazing. So share me out. Let's get to 1K. I'm hoping to get there by December. We can do this, guys. I just need your help. All right. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.